to the Whiskey Roundtable. We are your hosts. Big G. Karen Helen Keller. Doug Dunbar. And I'm Albert Santilli. Albert Santilli. <laughs> Good to be back. Here by the skin of his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> just just stand under the wire. Just but that's brush okay. those teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What, what's up, Albert? How are we doing? Wild Turkey Month begins, Amen. finally, and uh, yeah. So uh, you don't have Triscodecophobia, do you, Greg? Occasionally I do. Okay. Well, it's a fact that, you know, I take a shower, this show wards after. off bad luck, so right. our Triscodecophobia can... Uh, Phobiacs can be at ease tonight. So. Is that like a fear of Friday the 13th or something? Fear of the number 13, yes. Yeah. So, it's a real phobia. Friday the 13th is right. So I would I have to ask Albert, because I haven't seen Albert in a while. And uh, so what are you doing? What's going on with you? I, I, rumor has it, you had made mention the last time that you were uh, teaching piano. Twins yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I'm still the, an ad, adjunct piano instructor down at okay. the Family Learning Center of Music in Twinsburg, Ohio. So if anyone's le- looking to learn and improve on their uh, musicianship skills, you know, no matter what instrument, there's a whole staff there. I personally, concent- my concentration is piano, obviously. Uh, but it's a great establishment, and maybe we could talk about it later. But yeah, I would love um, to. Anthony, uh, uh, I was going there right next. next door in right. Twinsburg, Ohio to where I teach music at the Family Learning Center of Music. Um, the original Anth- Anthony Men's Barbershop And we have one here in Bainbridge. Bainbridge. Now Bainbridge. we have, he right. just expanded about a year ago and he used Correct. to put one in Bainbridge. Correct. So so, uh, so you sent me a video of your uh, uh, lesson teaching. It was it was unbelievable. It was fantastic. Oh, you should have let uh, me know. I could have thrown it up on here. Well, you probably need approval. We're in that approval. scotch we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We can, we can do that for the, for the we'll next. We can do that another yeah, night. Absolutely. <laughs> we, can, we can do that for, uh, we can put it on there. People that watch the show, even if they're, after they watch the show, be uh, something that uh, they can watch. It was great. Dude, yeah. that reminds me because the sound quality wasn't that good. But well, I thought it was last, great. I think the last, maybe, I don't know. It was the Halloween show. Yeah, Halloween. the Halloween show, your your daughter did an excellent job. Really, like, I don't know who was in charge of production. The sound quality was amazing. Well, we brought in some some equipment. Uh, Zach, our to, producer. To do yeah. that. Well, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Zach, Zach, Reese, Zach and Cameron. Reese. Yeah. yeah, Zach, yeah. our producer, and, yes. and yes. then Cameron helped do set up all the, Doug make sure the sound stuff. equipment was uh, Zach Fries. He all, really all did a good job. Go. Man. So yeah, awesome. so they came. That in was a, it, you know, it was a, a little challenging to pull off, but it was a lot of fun to do that. And yeah, all the kids are are back home, so it's just back to Shauna and I in the house. She's got a great voice, and yeah. I, I saw you play a little bass too. So. We we had up. fun, and uh, yeah. Yeah, she's super good. talented. We had fun at home too. Played games and stuff. Kayla had this game for Monopoly, that was card game, so, which was a little different. Um, no, a little different than the real game, but it was still a lot of fun. <laughs> was she cheating? Um, yeah. <laughs> Not everyone but, cheats uh, like you, dear. She what? loves. Can't Kayla loves game. games. She no. loves to play games. Um, but yeah, Monopoly. I don't know. I always I always think that it's wrong that. Only one company uh, makes the game, but you know. Put them both. I caught it. I just leave it alone, like I always do. <laughs> I, I love it how anyway. he always says that. Like, oh wait, that was a joke. I was supposed to catch that. I got it. I did oh, that on purpose. Okay. I meant to do that. Well, thanks for asking yeah. me how I've been, man. I appreciate it. No, I'm yeah. serious. I mean, uh, you know, we have a, you know we get together whenever we can. I know you got a busy schedule, and you. Have a love, Judy. But what he doesn't have is a, he doesn't have a sipping glass. So. He does not have a sipping glass. Oh. We're all remiss there. So can I can I can I interrupt the show for a minute? You yeah, want me to play a, co- we'll, a commercial? We'll vamp while you, you can you get a commercial. I can do a let's, Royal Havana commercial. Let's, let's, we're going to do a quick were. commercial. We'll be right back in a few seconds. Then we'll we'll get rolling with the show. Here we go. All right, hang tight. Be right back. Hi, it's the gang from the Whiskey Roundtable here. We're not here to talk about whiskey. We're here to talk about cigars, Royal Havana Cigars. Royal Havana Cigars is located at 38448 Lakeshore Boulevard in Willoughby, Ohio. That's 38448 Lakeshore Boulevard in Willoughby, Ohio. Royal Havana Cigar Lounge is tailored to an old 50s, 60s Cuban theme with a friendly atmosphere. Their walk-in humidor is filled with top cigar brands. Trust us, you're bound to find the cigar you're looking for. Royal Havana's friendly atmosphere and comfortable accommodations 
gives you the opportunity to relax in one of their fine chairs and enjoy a fine cigar. Try one of their house brand cigars. Royal Havana house brand cigars are rolled fresh every week. Not to mention the price is right. What else does Royal Havana offer, you ask? Let us tell you. Check out Royal Havana's large inventory of lighters, cutters, butane, lockers for rent, ashtrays, rocks glasses, and coffee cups. And hey ladies, Royal Havana has gift cards and a clothing boutique. And while you're there, check out the humidor for the fine line of cigars tailored to a woman's taste. That's right, we said it. They have cigars that are specially designed for a woman's enjoyment. Visit Royal Havana Cigars at gmail.com for all of Royal Havana's up-and-coming cigar events. They also host public and private events like weddings, family get-togethers, golf outings, wine tastings, just to name a few. So next time you're in the area, stop in at Royal Havana Cigars and see owner Dave Somrock and mention the name Big G from the Whiskey Roundtable, and you'll receive 10% off your first cigar purchase. Listen, we know what some of you are thinking. You can get a cigar anywhere. But hey, at Royal Havana, you can only get a good cigar. That's Royal Havana Cigars, located at 38448 Lakeshore Boulevard in Willoughby, Ohio, and tell them Big G from the Whiskey Roundtable sent you. Sorry, we had a whole conversation going on over here. I was like, oh my God, the commercial's over. Yeah, we're doing a show. I think. Hey, we're, we're doing a show. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Whiskey Roundtable. We are your hosts. Yeah, big G. <laughs> hey, come on. Big they, G. Don't, they know what to expect. Dude. Donna Battaglia. Oh, sorry, Mom. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, Dear yes. Lord. <laughs> so, I just, I want to just back up and say that I can, you know, I, I don't like to brag about the show or anything, but I just loved the Halloween show. Halloween show is great. Yeah. Absolutely love this. From show. the whiskey that we tried to the entertainment that we had during the show to the entertainment we had after. Yeah. I like uh, the costumes. I saw yeah. you guys, you know, I was just we were, as a layman, I was costumes. watching the show. Well, I mean, I should have made me clam bake. I don't know, you know. It's going to be uh, it's going to be hard to top that every year, but I don't know. Well, yeah, it is going to be uh, very very difficult to top that, yeah. but um I was so excited about listening to Kayla live. I actually downloaded her song on you on iTunes, not right. YouTube. I listened to it on YouTube, but I downloaded it on iTunes, um, and you can get it too. And she it's, it has lots of uh, material, and I'm urging her to, to release more of it. So she's got one of my favorite songs yeah. on YouTube. I saw Beachbody. I love yeah, that. Beachbody. Uh, her yeah, her um, co-writer. Actually released that song. I think I sent it to you guys. Maybe. Right. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, they're great. a team. They they write a lot together. And, okay. and so, so. due to copyright issues, she couldn't do it on the show last week. Um, but she did "Zombies" by the Cranberries mm -hmm. after, after the, the show. show. And um, Judith and Albert, I have a video if you guys would like to watch it after the show. Obviously, we can't show it on YouTube due to various reasons. But yeah, um, those copyright things. They're very pick was, picky about that stuff. It was But amazing. we actually tried to get the rights. We tried to pay. Uh, we tried to go to Warner and get the rights to do a live cover of it. And, uh, you know, we were willing to pay whatever money. But the wheels of bureaucracy turned very slow. I so, can only imagine. So we'll probably get the authorization in a couple of weeks. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so, well, I've got well, it recorded I mean, and ready to go. For the 30th of, of <laughs> October, but anyway, there we go. Mm. So uh, I'm just going to mention, uh, we started talking about this. Uh, so Anthony's uh, Men's Salon uh, Barbershop in, uh, in Twinsburg, 2681 Creekside Drive, Twinsburg, Ohio, uh, and uh, 8537 East Washington Street in Bainbridge, Ohio. He has two facilities, and uh, he, he wants to uh, raffle off... <laughs> What are you doing? He's Definitely. showing off his haircut. Oh, <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Hey, wait, let me can we, uh, do that again on the other camera. So we'll have to figure out a way yeah, to so we're, so we're, we're going to we'll start to raffling off some yeah. uh, some uh, $30? $30, yeah, yeah. $30 uh, yeah, gift, certificate. gift certificates for uh, 
people for haircuts and different things like that. It's good and, for uh, anything, any shave, it, cuts, maybe. or products in the shop. Okay, it applies right. to all that. So, so maybe uh, we, he was uh, he was yeah. kind of matter of fact. I would, I would I would love if possible. I know Albert, you'll be back on the show next week. Um, I would love if maybe uh, we could get Anthony over here at the uh, same yeah, time. Yeah, so. him and his wife Holly do that an excellent job at both locations. Okay, you know, they're so wonderful. Maybe we can get them both on. A lot show. of experience. So. You've never had a bad haircut there. You know. I, I, and he's too, a cigar guy. He's, a, he's an enthusiast. I mean, he took a little too much off the top, but that's okay. I don't come think on. I'm going to have to twist his arm too hard to come I hang out with okay. us, buddy. So, so hopefully uh, we can put that together. And uh, we won't raffle anything today. And we're going we're gonna to have to sit down and figure out how we're going to raffle. And Well, uh, I think the people that have... That that have commented on tonight's show, that might be one How about our t- some of our top guests? Our, yeah. our, our top, uh, our, yeah, is that right? Our top guests? Those that have watched uh, you know, frequently, we put their names we got, in the uh, we got to make it fun. We, we gotta, have to make it fun, yeah. So. we got to make yeah. it fun. we so, got to really think about this. So we'll think about it. You know, like Mark Anderson or some of those guys that are top fans, I mean, I think they should be uh, congratulated for that. So. Yeah, absolutely. That's just my thought. Okay. You know what's nice is we're local for we the are most local. part. Sure. You know, Twinsburg, Bainbridge, it's all super close in the radius. Yeah. Oh, we have... We have some of our frequent fans that mm-hmm. are on the West Coast, so uh, sure. we'll yeah, to, it'd be hard to. But to we'll have to figure a way to make it up to them. So we'll talk about that. Else, we'll but. talk about that uh, after the show or yeah. early next week, and we'll figure it out. And uh, speaking we'll, of we'll the, get Anthony's on the map. Speaking man, of so. the show, um, it's Wild Turkey Month, and gobble gobble, kids. And, uh, My favorite. Yeah, I guess we only have two weeks though of. of we do. Turkey Month. Because we missed the first week. I'll have to make it up on the off week. Um, but, uh, and then, of course, we have the Thanksgiving whole thing. I think we so, have, uh, I think we have uh, four or five more shows, and then we're not back till mid-January. Yeah, we're going to take our normal uh, winter hiatus from uh, the holiday season until, like, the middle of January, somewhere. There, so. Nice. Uh, but we do that to regroup and figure out how to make the show even better Equipment for our Equipment update, yeah. all that stuff that we do. So, right. Yeah. How can we, how can we get better? So, uh yeah, we walk will say this, a nice studio, man. It's been a while since I've been here. There's all these guys are constantly improving. The studio looks great. Well, right, that's yeah, one of the I you. actually one of the things on our agenda. We have we need to do a little bit of redecorating. We've we've acquired some yeah, we are some change, nice we are uh, changing things, things to put up on the wall and stuff. So so uh, who, who's oh, who's watching us today? You have any idea oh, Steve Williams says hello, Albert. Steven, Albert, hey, Steve, what up, Nick, oh, brother? Nick, Nick Trudick is out there. Nick, he says hey, AJ. Uh, that's uh, yeah, Andy. 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 We got Jennifer Boggs out there, of Jennifer. course, and she said she just finished some Yellowstone Limited, and now she's working on Maker's Mark oh. 2020 wood finishing release. All right, hold that thought, Jennifer. Wow. Did she say Yellowstone? Yeah. Uh huh. Yellowstone just, Limited. I just happened to fall into a 2020 bottle. Is that what you're drinking? I'm a fan of Yellowstone. Oh yeah. So that's a. Uh, uh, a uh, uh, Bean product from Steve Bean. So I know we like Yellowstone. We do Test like Yellowstone. Out. Yes, we do. Um, and if you ever stop into Yellowstone, mm-hmm. if you ever get the chance, um, they do. They are just a. It's a small operation. Little. Small, very small. Operation. Very small. And very they're the small. friendliest damn people. They'll, you know, they're just happy to talk to you Steve. as bourbon lovers, and and you know, it's just. You know, they're just like one of your pals, and they show you around. Steve it's Beam, pretty, I actually, pretty nice. I actually uh, met Steve Beam uh, about two years ago. Yes, you did. Um, and uh, at the Geyser? No, we In met the uh, Yellowstone. Okay. Well, it was a, a Greek guy that owned a French restaurant. But anyway, <laughs> we did the cigars there, and uh, it was on the other side of town, uh, probably close to Toledo, and uh, um, Yellowstone. His mother obviously was part of the distiller, distillery as well, uh, the original Jim Beam product, um, one of the daughters, so to say. And uh, they, we did, we tasted all their stuff before they, before they released it. So, which was great stuff that is just coming out now that that we had, you know, the rye and different things like that. Right. So, um, good product, definitely a good product, and uh, it, it, you know, it, he got. The uh, the Yellowstone name from his mother. His mother said, "Everybody will always remember Yellowstone Park." 
So that's what you should name your product. And that's how that name came about. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Very true story. And he told me that himself. He told, actually said that to an audience, how we got the name Yellowstone. Cool. So, yeah, all good deal. So. <laughs> you called Andy wants to know if you took your costume off, because I don't think you oh, ever. Oh, really? I don't think you ever <laughs> really, wear Andy? a costume. Every year. I'm like, next year you're wearing a costume. Next uh, year you're Andy wearing a really? costume. Andy, I thought we were boys. Okay. I get it. All right. You going as a gorilla again this year, honey? <laughs> Listen, my mom only has so many gorilla costumes. And, uh, okay, so I did. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you said your mom. Oh, yeah. And we're talking Halloween. So I went as the devil, and I had a sign on me that said, Donna gave me the night off. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. if I, Mom, I'm sorry. Listen to me. All right, listen to me, Mom. <laughs> you know as well as I know that... Uh, you will never take your costume off, okay? So, I, I'm sorry. You never take your costume off, Mom, but I still love you. All right, so that's for all of you who know my mother. <laughs> anyway, don't second guess me. Trust me. When Come I'm on, there's a few out here that know your mother. <laughs> Euclid Andy. Oh, Euclid Andy knows your mother. Oh, Steve definitely. Williams. Yes, yes. Nick, I don't know if Nick Nick's Trudy. ever met your mother. I think Nick's met my mother before. I think Nick's Is that why he's scarred for life? Uh, he is scarred for life. But, yeah, all good groups. So, uh, what are we doing, kids? What are we doing today? Well, tonight, um, for Wild Turkey Month, uh, we're, our feature tonight is Russell's Reserve Private Barrel, single barrel. Selection, Single Barrel, Non-Chill Filtered. Um, and Karen will tell us all about it, I think. Well, right? not exactly this one. So, if you can let us know. Like you, I was asking you before the show where you picked this up at. Oh, this I picked up at the Liquor Barn in Bowling Green, Tennis or uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. So it's it's the store pick for them. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, and um, you know if you look on our bottle, I think it's Warehouse A four four. And yeah. in doing some research, and maybe you maybe you're going to talk about this, but no, um, I'm not. You're, you're um, good. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, Mr. Russell uh, knows the sweet spots in, in every every one of his Rick houses, and that's where he gets his private uh, his reserve selections from. And they're usually right in kind of in the middle of the warehouse, generally. So nice. when you look at all these bottles, and I saw some online, and that's pretty typical. The ours came from uh, warehouse A on on the fourth floor. So fourth floor. And they usually have seven seven levels. So right. That, that rings true, so hopefully it's a it's a good one, and we'll we'll find out in a little bit here. So. Uh, can, can I interrupt the show? Absolutely. Okay. So um, I just got a text message from Randy Primer, uh, one of the guys. So a, l a lot of people don't know this about me, but I work for the Jogger County Sheriff's Office, and it was something that thought we, I recognized we, his name. We uh, <laughs> we never uh, we never talked about because of what I do. So. At the end of the day, so I just had uh, one of our guys reach out to us. So one of our retired guys, Frank Phila, passed away yesterday. We we're very close friends, and uh, I want to dedicate the show to him tonight. Great guy, people that took the time to get to know him. And uh, I was just with Frank a couple weeks ago. Uh, I didn't know he was sick. He kept it to himself, and I just want to say, Frank, I love you. Rest in peace. Enjoy the rest of your life, and uh, thank you, Jogger County Sheriff's Office, for uh, everything, and uh, your memory will never go away. We had a lot of great uh, times together. You were my uh, basically my FTO, and uh, we had a lot of fun, and... Uh, if the sheriff's office knew half of the shit we did, <laughs> we wouldn't be working there today. So, God bless you, Frank. I love you, man. Cheers, Frank. Cheers, Frank. Cheers, Frank. Love you. Amen. To Frank. Sorry, guys. No, that that was a great tribute. Thank, thank, you, thank you for bringing that up. A lot. I had a lot of things on my phone, so I just wanted to make sure that uh, that was that was said. I was going to do that before the show, and I didn't on purpose. I was going to save it for the end of the show, but my phone lit up, so I had to, I had to do it. So yeah, do it. very anyway. very very proud of my boys over there. Okay, you know what yeah. I mean. You know, we'll go into it, but yeah, they're doing everything right. It's been a tough yeah. year. It's been a weird yes. year. This year has sucked. It's been a tough year, man. 
Suck. So, uh, Frankie. Frank. What's I'm the, drinking your bourbon. Well, we know he's what's, not with your mother right now. Last Thank name? God. <laughs> Frank, uh, Frank, what's Phillip? His name? Frank Phillip. Frank Phillip. Frank Phillip. Frank Phillip. 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 Okay. Phillip. He's retired. He retired about three years ago. Sergeant, wasn't he? He, he was an acting sergeant, yes, yep. for, for about two years. Yes, he was. And uh, Frankie, I love you, man. I'll see you later. All right, let's move on, kids. Okay, so yeah, we were talking about the Russell's Reserve. Yes, we were talking about Russell's Reserve. And uh, so hey, but you, before we delve into that real quick, absolutely. I was drinking a hundred proof of uh, Rittenhouse stry, rye, straight rye whiskey not too Correct. long ago. Correct. It's a bottled and bond bottle. Correct. Mm-hmm. You know, for a rye, it I, just, I have it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I th- I just like that a lot, man. And uh, that's yeah, available you know, here. It. It's available here in Ohio. That's very good. Yeah. So, but I was just thinking about that. You Rittenhouse know, with, uh, rye. Rittenhouse. And, if people remember that Kyle Rittenhouse kid back there, you know, hope he's doing well. He didn't do it. No, but yeah, Amen. Just, you know. I hear you. I hear you. So, well, anyway, I'll let that go. I'll right. let that go. <laughs> you know, I don't think no. Kyle Rittenhouse did anything wrong. <clears throat> I'll just say that. And, you know, I'll leave it there. Your opinion. Okay. Good rye whiskey. All Good right. rye whiskey. Okay, so. <laughs> we, to Kyle. Where were we? Uh, my, my, we've, we've gone rogue. Yeah. All right, so that's the show. We'll catch you guys next right. week. Do, do you, hey, Karen, do you have anything? Does got, Karen got, have anything got, to tell us? I got Why a little we, bit of news. Yeah, let, let's oh, you got news? Uh, not let's news. Hear about I thought the show was over. Oh, God. See, you're getting me all flustered. It can't, it can't be over. Y'all miss the whiskey? Y'all miss the whiskey? You, you guys miss me. Guys? Come on. You guys miss me. I know you miss me a little bit. Well, of course we miss you, man. I, I mean, I, it's good to be on air. And I just want to go you? on How'd the How'd you get here? When did you get here? My name's Elvers. <laughs> Elvers Santilli. Elvers Santilli. Santilli. I just want everyone to know while we're, we're still Coast on. North Coast Jazz Ensemble. Well, before I get kicked off, <laughs> I want everyone to know that, it's, Steve, if you're listening, he knows this. I'm very strong. <laughs> and and what? I'm, uh, I'm very strong. I, I, I have get a large penis. I have a large penis. Oh, And shit. I oh, windsurf what? and I snowboard. <laughs> And uh, where, where are we going? And he is taken. So and this is not a, a match.com thing. Well, I'll tell you what. She's a lucky woman, whoever yeah, she her. is. I think she's going to oh, leave. Boy. Okay, we well. Drove. Okay, can we get this? Is it possible to get this are on the rails Are we doing a show again? about whiskey? Are we, are we, are we oh, doing a show so. about whiskey? So. All right, come okay, on. This, uh, Move along, kids. Karen's going to tell her. us a little about tonight's whiskey before we give, give it a taste. So, yeah, so let's go back to the whiskey, the whiskey show. Hey, so hang, you, on, hang on, hang <laughs> on. I know this is probably, well, no, I won't say more fun, but I know you guys are tuning in for the whiskey. Yeah. So you said that Jimmy Russell knows every nook and cranny of that distillery, and he, and he should. I mean, he's Jimmy been Eddie, yeah, yeah, the but... master distiller at Wild Turkey since 1954. Holy smokes. And I don't know if, if, if Eddie is now officially, his son is now officially the Eddie, head distiller, probably. He, I he's think. a master distiller, and yeah, that's how okay. they um, classify him on the website. So basically, they're co-master distillers. He became Master Distiller in 2015. And I know we do a lot of uh, Wild Turkey. Every November is our Wild Turkey month. So we talk a lot about it. I didn't want to rehash the same old things. So I wanted to get into some little known maybe facts about Wild Turkey. Who does do the Russell's Reserve product, obviously. So Wild Turkey, where does it get its name? Uh, Uh, Hunting trip. Hunting trip. Back oh. in the days before, well, it was called Wild Turkey. You you yeah. got it. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you get the Turkey Anthony's dinner. gift card. No, just All kidding. Right. No, no, we'll, we're going to raffle Employees could not that. participate well, yeah, or that, whatever they yeah, do. Right. <laughs> anyway, so, yes. Members of the show are prohibited. <laughs> <laughs> so back in 1940, um, a distillery exec- executive, Thomas McCarthy, he was on a hunting trip. And he brought some of his whiskey and his whiskey samples and the then owner of the distillery, which is now known as Wild Turkey, Austin Nichols, they were out hunting wild turkey. So that's where they got the name. Okay. He had some samples yeah. with him. Yes. And he Drum shared sticks. it and they would all go, well, they Hey, sticks. do you have any more oh. of that uh, wild turkey whiskey? You know, and that's how it got That's how it got its name, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, another interesting fact, too, is that in 1969, the Rippey brothers 
is where Wild Turkey Distillery started. They actually opened their distillery on Wild Turkey Hill in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. So there's there's another connection. Connection. Thank you for that word because I didn't have it on the Wild Turkey. So how many brothers are there? I want to say I three, don't. two or three. I I, I don't know. Three brothers. Okay. I'm terrible at that. Um, so we'll have to do another show on the whole family tree of bourbon. Remember I that? love so that. I haven't done tree. that. Was pre where I do the whiskey wizard segment. So yeah, that that would be a great great show. I'll plan to do that in the and future. How everyone is intertwined like yeah. that. It's a very incestuous little group of the whole okay. uh, whiskey industry in Kentucky. I got a comment there, but I'm just not that quick witted. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's probably the wrong choice of words, but. It's it's uh, everybody's related. No, no, I had one. I had one. Thank you very much, though. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much. Anyway, so <laughs> wild turkey. It was French for twenty nine years. Um, qu'est-ce so, que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je crois que c'est un mot de mot. I did take French for like six years. I think I can ask what time is it? And uh, oui. je m'appelle Karen. Je m'appelle. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so in. Je crie mon nom. <laughs> In 1980, Wild Turkey's owner, Austin Nichols and Company, they sold it to the French uh, spirits conglomerate, Pernod Ricard, for a hundred no, million no. yes. dollars. Holy shit. A hundred million. But in 2009, the distillery changed hands when Italy's, give me it right here. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Italy. Okay. The bread and the sauce. Yeah. Grupo the sauce Campari purchased Campari. the distillery. <laughs> he purchased the distillery for only just only five hundred and seventy-five million. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Dagos got all the money. Anyway, go ahead. So Campari still owns Wild Turkey, and he is credited with bringing the whiskey brand back to life. Whoa. Yeah, I mean they're alive true. and well. No they, doubt they, about they, it. They did a really good job yeah. of, of bringing it back, and they have so many. Great brands that we love. What? I've been done. No, just your face. <laughs> this is why I can't. I did hear. shave today, so I seem to have that effect on the females. When you make them laugh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. So. Uh, so let me keep going. So. Yes. Did I mention uh, I win by uh, snowboard? <laughs> no? All right. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me just kind of go through really quickly pop culture. So Wild Turkey is is well known in pop culture. Um, it has been on many TV shows and films. And some of my favorites as far as TV shows are The Sopranos, Married with Children, and Parks and Recreation. It's also been in films such as The Punisher, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and Silver Bullet. And it was a favorite of the writer, Hunter S. Thompson. Yes. And uh, he, he was very very much a wild turkey promoter. So He liked that Shibbles Regal, too. Yeah. Shibbles Regal? Shibbles? Shibbles? Shibbles, 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 Shibbles Regal Cinema? Yeah. Shibbles yeah. Shibbles. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Rest um. in peace, Hunter, wherever you may be. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's the show. Big G. <laughs> We're out. Anyway. Oh, my. So uh, just really quickly, there are a couple different nicknames that you'll also hear. Wild Turkey referred to the Dirty Bird, the Screaming Eagle, the Kickin' Chicken. And in 2016, Whiskey Magazine uh, did a review, uh, not with Michael Jackson, but he was a beer and spirits writer called Michael Jackson. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. He and a beer he, guy, he, beer hunter. He described Wild Turkey as the Clint Eastwood of whiskeys. Okay. Yeah. So... Come on, well, and they are. <laughs> um, that's part of their DNA. Is they like um, Jimmy. Jimmy Russell's always said, you know, that bourbon really needs to be at least about 105 proof to to really have its character really manifested. And that's mm-hmm. kind of part of the DNA of what they do, right? They they like full spirited, high spirit whiskeys, old school stuff. Yeah, sure. and Absolutely. it's. Uh, yeah. So it makes them great. I mean, it's part of what makes and them great. You, how long does this have to sit in the barrel for it to be to considered bourbon? Four bourbon. years. Four years. Four years for bourbon. Well, I think to be considered bourbon, it's two years. So straight bourbon. Well, somebody can correct me. I think it's straight. Minimum two. Straight is a minimum two okay. aged in you know 
Charge no barrels, right? First fill. Awesome. So there are a few different Russell's reserve. Four um, years bottle and bond. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Bottle and bond no, four right. years. Yeah, that's four, four years. Four. Bottle and bond would be doing that right uh, now. Hey, you know, see, we take a week off and I know. it's like I'm all sorry. the cobwebs. It all goes to pot. To cobwebs. Sorry. Anyway, we're good. So we're good. Russell's reserve, there's a couple other ones. Um, we're lucky enough to, <clears throat> excuse me, have this private barrel selection, which is actually yeah. the Camp Nelson number three pick. Yeah. It was distilled December 17th of 2009, and it is 110 proof. And oh, yeah. That don't catch up to you. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah, it's a man's whiskey, so, so is, you three need is. to just leave the table and, that's and let no us women sit ladies, here. So, I mean, <laughs> it's a spirited whiskey. It's It'll put hair in chest. Anyway. You know, it wouldn't be the one to share with somebody who's just getting into whiskey or <laughs> trying no, it. Probably not. Definitely not. not definitely. Probably okay. not, unless you were trying to push yeah. them away. Yeah. But, um, I, you know, I'm curious because there's a, a few different Russell's Reserves, and, I, and the Russell's Reserve single barrel is also at 110 proof. They, they have about six or eight different barrels. I think there's point. about six, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, I can't uh, remember, I, but I know, it's at least six. Different, yeah. different. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Russell's Reserve. I mean, you guys know my favorite one ton proof. You know what that is, right? OGD. Old Granddad. One ten. I thought that was one fourteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old Granddad bottle. Is it one fourteen? One four. OGD one fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it, it's really good, whatever it is. That's, well, that's old Granddad 114, Old Granddad Bottle the Bond. Yeah, but that 114 hits you, it catches up quick. It that is, is that'll, that'll creep up your underwear quicker than anything. Is yeah, yeah. Thing, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's, what, is it time to taste, or have you got any more? Uh, no, let's just, let's yeah, get let's, on with the show. <laughs> let's get on with the show. <laughs> So move along. Yeah, so we grab those two thing, glasses. Every time we sir. take a week off, we, it takes a little. We're a little rusty, but let's. Tonka. <laughs> I like to okay. grab him by the glass, you know. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, about, Albert. So. You go. Is that what I'm? Do I, this one's mine. Good thing, yes. Sir. All right, so 110 proof, kids. Nice copper mm. color. You love it. It is very red. Very got lots of red in there. Amber, I guess, is copper. See, I always say this. Anytime I, I nose a wild turkey, I always say, I know this is wild turkey. I'll tell you, this is nose. wild turkey product. Yeah, really. But got when we nice did our blindfolded it. show, I obviously did Okay, so dark fruit. Vanilla, I'm just caramel. throwing it out there. Plums. Plums I get some, like, dark cherry, fruit. you know. Definitely cherry. Cherry, vanilla, maybe. Oak. Definitely. Yeah, there's but a the oak is subtle. Oak, believe it or not. Good. Um, oak is subtle. But I do Very get nice. some oak in there. What's the proof on this? I'm sorry. One ten. One ten. So it, so I don't get the I don't get the one ten ethanol. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. I don't get you, that. No it's, ethanol. It's, it's very clear. It's very clear. I'm gonna sneeze in a minute. But anyway. anybody else Cow. get in a little bit of orange? I do. I, I, I do get a lot of orange. Citrus. Slightly. I do get yeah. citrus. You're citrus. Right. Citrus. Ah, sure. well, that's a great. That's a great nose. I gotta say. Nice I coloration do. to it. I would say. Yeah. Beautiful. That orange citrus to it. So sorry. Marion, what are you thinking over there? I'm getting that citrus. Citrus? Did you try it yet, or are you just? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We're in it. <laughs> We're just on the nosing. Like. She can't. She can't wait. She can't wait. Light, for you nice guys. legs. And I think it's we are. Light, it's lighter for the for the uh, proof. It's yeah. It's very not, consistent. You know, Definitely. You, you guys say there isn't a lot of ethanol, but I do get. You will get some, but there's, oh, yeah. it's not overpowered. No, but for a 110, I think it's yeah. nice. Yeah, 110, I think it's very nice. I hope it tastes as good as the nose is. I hope. Delicious. It does. It smells fantastic. Um, give, us the, give us the nose, girlfriend. I don't have the nose. What? Oh, because okay. it's a private select, I, uh, okay. I I did not want to try to compare it to Yeah, anything. we can only, you could only go by maybe some other barrel selects they have. All right. And they do, they have, they have multiple barrel selects out there, so... Shall we taste? We yes. should taste. Okay. Please. Wow. Complex. Mm. More complex than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my. It's not hot at all for a hundred no. ten proof. No. No. It's but there's a sweet. lot going on flavor wise. It's it's, uh, it's sweet. Very sweet. You know. Uh, it is. Brown sugar. Um, 
caramel. Toasted caramel, yeah. like sweet. Uh, I want to. I want to say like cherry cola or yeah. There's a, a little bit Coca, of a I'd say Coca Cola. A little bit yeah. of a cola ness and. Uh, What'd you say, Mary? Molasses. A bit of date. 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 Oh yeah, okay. yeah. There's some like some of those uh, dark fruit. Definitely a lot of dark fruit in there, in my personal opinion. Dates or figs. Yeah. So. I get cinnamon. Wow. Um, yeah, there's okay. there's some spice, a little bit of there is some, some spice. I, I, yeah, I, cinnamon's probably. I don't know if I. I don't know if cinnamon's the. I don't know the yeah, it's kind of spice. It's right. almost like a little cinnamon baked apple seasoning. or some type you know, of with the cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. There. It's almost like it's with uh, cinnamon with the fruit. It's oily. Yeah. You can take a shot now. <laughs> and uh, but no, the coloration is all there. I mean, this is a great drink. I don't know what the yeah, pricing right. it is on it, but I like what it. Do you, what do you got on the palate? Ain't it? I don't. You no. Have no, no. Not, not only because it was a private select, but I can I can pull up some things yeah, on, pull up. I'm just on the Russell's Reserve. Okay, yeah, but I, I like. Yeah, that. just give me a second here. Um, no, typing as fast as I can. Okay. I trust your your palate because I've been smoking cigar. I yeah. I mean I. I uh, let me do the single barrel yeah, I mean, because that's a the one cherry time. cola. The, I think the fig. I, I do get brown like, sugar. Get yeah, that brown sugar. sugar, some vanilla, for course, because it's a bourbon. You're always going to get a certain amount of that. Um, just, I would say, I you know, definitely, it's like a baked apple with cinnamon is in yeah, there. And, yeah, yeah. Um, is this a? Does it have a screw on top to it? Or is it a? Is it's it a cork? cork. It's a cork. Yep. It's a cork. I, I love. It. It's a nice looking bottle. I prefer a cork person. You do prefer the cork? Coffee. Yeah, it's a you know maybe you it's coffee. just a little bit of a bias because it's probably maybe a little bit. So we've talked about that. Okay, let me see. You know, I don't know. Again, to pontificate, I don't know what the price is, but I. I would like to buy this bottle. Just having tasted it, I think it's I'll you that my one first for time. I <laughs> hey, I'm not that guy. <laughs> it's uh... even though I'm Italian. <laughs> but did I mention I'm strong? You're strong, <laughs> Oh dear lord! <laughs> and you're a windsurfer? Or? I win. I windsurf and I snowboard and I, 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 I used to windsurf. It's on his Wii games. games. I drive the nicest cars <laughs> and I hang out with the coolest people, drinking the nicest bourbon ever. Well, that's, that's, why, I that's why you're here tonight. You sound like a commercial. <laughs> I drink with the nicest people. Well, like um, so anyway, um, what have you found? Palette: cherry juice, cinnamon, nutmeg, nutmeg okay. seasoned oak, black tea leaves, caramel candies, and raisin. Yes. That's yeah. where I get the coffee is from the black. Tea I'd say we're in the ballpark with what we. Amen. Can. Yeah, I mean, Amen. Um, and it's a, that's probably a slightly different whiskey, so I'd say we were right on exact. Right. I agree. Yep. As far as, as far as you know. Okay. As far as we know. So are we going to rate? So let's do some ratings. Um, let's let our guests go first, Albert. Um, so on, on our scale one, to one five, to five scale, five being the best you can do. Yeah. Where, where do you? Where would you put this? I'm going to six point two seven. Is that good? Wee. Pretty good. <laughs> on a scale so you of really five. like this? Yeah. So I'm down to the hundredth are, for are those you, of you just you, tuning in. Are, so we, are, we, are we doing 4.9? Are we Oh, wait, doing no, five? 1 to 5. 1 to one 5, to five. yeah. Five. So I, I meant to say 4.27. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was 1 through 10. 4.27. <laughs> I, I, okay. Wow, that's a, that's a... It's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> so we'll we'll go and then in our normal order. We'll go back to Big G. What do you got? Oh, shit. I'm going to go with the 4.0. 4.0. Okay. So this is a time you're usually pretty generous, and I... But we'll have to see. Karen, what do you say? You know what? I, I am so biased, and it's almost not even right for me to try to score a wild turkey because I'm always going to give it high ratings. Because it's Matthews. It's no, Matthews it's not even McConaughey. It has nothing. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't. I, so I just want you to take into consideration uh, the proof. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. The smell and the flavor is all very consistent in my yeah. personal it's, opinion. It's, I, I'm going to go 4.25. Oh, all right, all right, yes. all right. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right, all right, all right. Well, I gotta tell Wizard, you, Wizard, what do you got, Wizard? I, I think that I'm, I think. Well, Karen is right there. She's aligned with Albert, and um, you know, I might give this uh, my highest rating so far. I don't, not that I memorize it all. I'm, I'm giving this whiskey four point 
eight. Wow. Whoa! Whoa! I love this Whoa. one. Whoa! Holy I think that's shows. the highest score I've ever given on. Dude, on that show. is groundbreaking. I know. Because well, you only just, give those scores for like scotches. I know, oh. but um, this is. Um, I, it, it just has everything that I I want in a bourbon. It's um, at this very proof, good. it's, it's so um, so rich. Without, I don't get. It's not doesn't have any ethanol burn to me, and it's got a lot, just lots of complexity, and um, you know, it's it's been in the right part of the Rick House for the right amount of time. And Jimmy Russell knows. What so he's Jimmy doing. knows what he's doing. Amen. So. I, you know. When they when they brought those to Ohio, um, like I said, there was like I think six or so different ones, and uh, I I think I, I bought two different bottles from two different liquor stores, and uh, but uh, I don't know different uh, picks from two different liquor stores. Yeah, different blends. So they, they gotcha. when they okay, when they yeah. sent them out, they did different different barrel picks, different yeah. barrel picks to different stores. I think I got two bottles of that. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. Uh, and they were different, but uh, where they're at, I have no clue. So. I remember we went to the um, Lizardville, and we got their Russell's Reserve pick, right. and that was another mm -hmm. fantastic Boy. barrel pick. Um, this was probably a year or two ago, mm -hmm. um, but it was fantastic. And, and we talked with one of the gentlemen that worked there, and he actually helped pick the barrel and everything. So it was pretty cool yeah. um, to see that. One of the things that I would love to get my hands on um russell's reserve 2002 no not that put that I'm away sorry, i'm sorry don't scare the kids <laughs> russell's reserve 2002 so this was a limited release that they only did in like 14 states i don't i don't remember but it's like 250 dollars so you know i kind of well, what, what are you talking about it's called russell's reserve 2002 it's 114 115 proof okay um, lim like I said, limited release, 14 states. Ohio actually was one of the states that they released it in back then. And it's supposedly a 15-year huh. bourbon. Did not know that. Yeah. So I would love to get my hands on that one and see what that's like. Gotcha. So maybe for next year's... See what happens. Well, Turkey yeah. Month, we could... Yeah. I mean, we got to come up with... Uh, some more for next year uh, that we haven't duplicated. So we, I, I think we aren't well, duplicating our, any our, that we did last on year. On our time so. off, we have a lot of to sort through. Yes, lots of lots of planning to make the whiskey round table even better. even better. If it could possibly be be any better, right? Yeah. Amen. No, You're, I'm sure there's plenty of room for improvement. Your better half is out there like. Totally floored that you scored a 4.8 there. That's what I say, Shauna. I don't, Shauna. I don't give it up easy. Oh, no. Shit. That's not what she said on your oh, first date. No. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you had a pickup truck then. <laughs> no, I had my rabbit convertible. Well, oh. Well, then you know that's oh. a lie. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I was a beach boy. I was a beach boy when I met her. Is it time for the whiskey wizard? Oh, yes. my God. Oh my Please gosh, let it be time for the whiskey wizard. And, you know, we're going to talk about, uh, the whiskey wizard going to talk about something interesting um, we haven't covered in a while, and uh, we're going to delve into something new. So Yeah, and don't be hating on this, because it's we'll, good stuff. Don't be we'll hating. It is. Well, maybe if it's okay if you hate on it a little bit, but we'll be right back. All right, kids. We'll see you in a minute. All right. Hang tight. Whiskey wizard. It's the whiskey wizard. Hello and welcome to the Whiskey Wizard, where we say that whiskey making takes scientific knowledge, an artisan skill and dedication, and a bit of the wizard's alchemy of light, air, earth, and fire. Tonight we're talking about flavored whiskey. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about all the stuff that they put flavorings into. Anything from apples to cinnamon to jalapeno peppers. Purists, and I'm kind of in that camp, look down on this stuff a bit. But hey, I have to admit someone must be buying it as it keeps taking up more and more shelf space at my local retailer. And the facts bear this out. 
flavored whiskey sales have continued to grow annually since 2014. Thus, all the major distillers find the demand hard to ignore. And some special boutique brands of flavored spirits have sprung up as well. So what's up with this? While all the pure whiskey categories have seen great rising demand and an influx of new appreciators, it would seem that there's still many who want a specific, perhaps sweeter flavor experience and are willing to pay for some of these options. And most of this category are more affordable than the premium brand whiskeys I'm sure most of our fans tend to enjoy. I guess if I was making a holiday punch or hot toddy, I might well consider grabbing and making use of some of these. But in general, I'd rather add a nice medium range bourbon to some fresh apple cider and then toss in a little powdered Saigon cinnamon. If I'm wanting something apple-like rather than shooting some Jim Beam apple, that's just me. I really don't have the right to be snobbish here as I must confess that some years ago I thought bourbon was for throwing into a large tumbler with ice and Dr. Pepper. But now it does seem to me that it's common sense that you can add your own quality flavorings if that's what you're in the mood for. If I craved maple, I might add a tablespoon of real pure maple syrup in place of simple syrup to my best old fashioned cocktail recipe instead of reaching for something say like bird dog maple flavored whiskey. So anyway, let's back up for a second. First of all, there's no such thing as flavored bourbon or flavored Scottish or Irish whiskey for that matter. By definition, bourbon must contain only water and spirit distilled from grains, at least 51% corn, and the remainder rye, barley, or wheat. The only thing one may add to bourbon following distillation is water. It's basically the same for scotch and the Irish stuff, only barley and water, although some other grains are allowed. So anything that is later infused with flavorings, herbs, spices, sugars, syrups, or juices can only be considered a flavored whiskey, if a whiskey at all. Now there are real purists who might claim that barrel finishing, say putting an aged bourbon in a sherry cask or rum cask for further finished aging really makes it a flavored whiskey and no longer a bourbon. Yeah, I won't go quite that far. If an aging spirit gathers essences from cask or barrel wood, previously holding another spirit or fermented product during proper aging in the rickhouse, to me that's fine. We're still adding only what the oak allows us during its complex interaction with our bourbon, rye, or malt spirits. The Alcohol Tax and Trade Bureau refers to flavored whiskeys officially as whiskey specialties. One of the first to add flavor to whiskey was Wild Turkey when they came out with their American Honey. Technically, American Honey is a liqueur as it's only 71 proof. So are many of the others, including Evan Williams' Apple Orchard, weighing in at a very slight 34 proof. In fact, even Jack Daniels' flavored products like their Fire, Honey, and Apple products are listed as flavored liqueurs blended with Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. So again, not even professing to be a whiskey. As an interesting aside, Jack Daniels regular number seven whiskey could be considered a bourbon, although they chose to call it Tennessee whiskey. Their filtering of the finished spirit through maple wood charcoal may actually remove some of the natural flavor in the whiskey. Not a big fan of this result, but to each his own. By the way, I'm a big fan of most of their other specialty offerings. Jim Beam, of course, has its counterparts. Peach, apple, honey, fire, and more. Again, labeled as liqueurs, infused with straight bourbon. So here I've got some Jim Beam Red Stag, and this is their black cherry flavored offering. Now black cherry is one of my preferred fruit flavors, so I'm gonna give this one a try. Dare I nose this? Definitely, there's definitely black cherry. Or cherry, anyway. Wow. Okay, well, maybe not as sweet as I was expecting, but still pretty far on the sweet side of things. 
a definite cherry flavor, not too objectionable, but still comes across a little bit like Robitussin cough medicine to me. So, you know, this, uh, this might be good in a cocktail. Um, sometimes these are, are, you know, better for that purpose than actually drinking straight, of course. Uh, perhaps it would be a nice contribution to a party punch or a tall tumbler with ice, Coke, or Dr. Pepper. Then there's Ballatin out of Louisville, Kentucky. They make a range of flavored offerings. They actually call whiskeys, even though only 60 proof. I did try their bourbon ball whiskey once at the Nashville Whiskey Fest. I admit it was really very good, like drinking a fine dessert. They have a range of confectionery flavors like chocolate, cherry cordial, chocolate cream, caramel turtle, and mint chocolate. The people at their Whiskey Fest show table were, you know, really nice folks, proud of what they do, and I believe they really do use the best quality ingredients in their products. However, I can't really recall where they obtained their whiskey, and their website is no help in that regard. So if you're actually more fond of dessert than you are of whiskey, this Ballatin stuff just might be the right thing for you. Old Smoky has about every flavor you can imagine mixed with whiskey at 70 proof, from peanut butter to peach to mango habanero. And then there's this one. Oh yeah, we're going there. Fireball. That 66 proof mix of ill-defined Canadian whiskey and a real cinnamon flavor. And what exactly is that on the label? Part man, part devil, part dragon, or is that some type of incendiary fanged dairy cow? I don't know, but I kind of like this weird stuff. Hey, I've done ice cold shots of Fireball before, and it's like drinking half a bag of red hot candies. Whoa. All right, look, if it's flavor, it ain't bourbon, or ain't a single malt or Irish whiskey. But hey, if you like it, drink it by all means. And if over the holidays a friend or family member pulls out one of these bad boys because they know you like whiskey, remember it's time to befriend and educate, not offend or alienate. Maybe you take a little taste and then pull out a special bottle you brought as well to share. You know, again, an opportunity to inspire and educate. Or else maybe you just pull out a big plastic cup of cola on ice and dump it in. Look, for decades, my wife Shauna could not really warm up to whiskey until I got her some wild turkey American honey. That helped her transition to appreciating the real deal. Now she actually likes and appreciates finer bourbons, yet in smaller doses than I, and she will drink it neat but prefers that drop of a few cherries in her. She can now even handle a few of the lighter bodied single malt scotches. So here's perhaps another case for this market. We at the Risky Roundtable suggest that you just make sure you carefully read the labels when you shop, so you really know what it is that you are buying. And there's never shame in trying anything, and any whiskey is likely better than no whiskey at all. Do us a flavor. If you like any of these whiskey specialties, drop us an email or comment and let us know. Now, if I could only find a good punch or maybe a frat party to donate this to. So this is Douglas Dunbar, the Whiskey Wizard for the Whiskey Round Table. Cheers. And now, back to the live show. All right, Whiskey All right. Wizard. I love what? the fact that you threw in some fireball. Oh yeah. To the oh, yeah. Whiskey got Wizard. To. You're killing got to, got to. So, yeah. <clears throat> we got a little uh, flavored. While yeah. the Whiskey Wizard was taking place, we all poured ourselves a little, what did we pour? I Jim, Jim Beam. Jim Beam Fire. Beam fire. 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 So, the fire. So, in honor of what we covered in the Whiskey Wizard, we're actually going to taste some of this. Um, what do you think, guys? Let's just dive in. Jeff. Oh, shit. Hey, okay. Mickey. This is for you, girl. Mickey, good luck. Oh, it's so good. So oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what, I don't even smell. Is it supposed to be cinnamon? Because I don't smell that on the mm -hmm. when I 
It actually is very good. How do you not okay. smell cinnamon on I that? I don't smell so, cinnamon on so that. So let me tell you, let me tell you how, how we started drinking this. I mean, so, little. I mean, not like you'd expect. Is Mickey watching? I don't think so. Are we are we slamming this or what are I we doing? I already slammed it. it. All right. Yeah, you it's like smell. water, dude. It's like Ooh, so water, bitch. Cinnamon. 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 Cinnamonography. Cinnamon. Cinnamonography. Okay. Oh, so good. oh yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Like you said, oh, a bag full of red bag hots. Bag full of red hots. Uh, it's very good. It really okay, so, is. I mean, I, I'm not a flavor. And guy this guy is so. not a whiskey. This is a whiskey specialty, and it's a liqueur. So, just to be exact about it. So. It's the nighttime cold sneezing exactly. sniffling so you can get to bed medicine. That's Seriously, now this, that's exactly what I would, if I had this, that's what I'd use that for. Oh, gosh, it's so good. Say that again? Well, it's, um. <laughs> say that again, I want you to say it again. What'd you what? say? What'd you just say? If I had a cold, that's what I would use this for. I would, like, okay. Nighttime slam one sniffling of those sneezing bed so you can get to bed medicine. Port yeah. wine where we grew up. Well, I don't score it a 4.8, but, I mean. <laughs> It's. Uh, I love it this. Is, like I said, it is if something. I was at a bar, I would buy a round for everyone. You know, it it doesn't yeah, not drink easy. like it doesn't drink like a drinkable. Uh, a, uh, well, it's not horrible. It really no, is. It's not. It's, it, it drinks more like a whiskey know, than yeah. it does anything. It really does. And I, I've had, like I said in in the the segment, I you know I've had um, I've had the uh, fireball. Yeah. Um, at ice cold, served at a party, and you know you can. You That's know, made. In Austin, you can Texas. find yourself having more Fireball. than one of those and easily. Fireballs in Texas, right? <laughs> so I think I think it's in Austin, Texas. Is that where they come from? I believe so. Okay. But, yeah. So and and you know one of the things, and I was looking for it in the uh, collection over there was the Jack Daniels. I think it's the number twenty-seven, which is the maple flavored. We had done that on a show, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. Um, that's a great wait, 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 wait. Jack, oh, Daniels, Jack Daniels. Yes, yes. But again, that's a liqueur, and that and no, none of them. I don't think so. No. I'll, I, bet, I'll bet you. Uh, we'll, let's we'll pull it out after. Pull it. Pull it. We'll, we'll, we'll do, we don't have to do it now. But I, I think they're all. They don't even profess to be whiskey. They all say liqueur, infused with Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. It so, was I, w I was so so let me tell you about that product. <laughs> okay. Comes in a gold box. We were out uh, Oh you might have something special. We were right we were on the other side of town, way on the other side of town. We were out in Warren, right? No, we were Niles? we were we were west. Oh that's way west. right. That's right. Yep. And uh, we stopped at this liquor store. I said, Karen, pull up the liquor stores. And we we went in and they had everything. They had everything, right? So I'm looking at all this stuff, and they had this whole display of their prime product. And I saw Jack Daniels. I'm like, well, this ought to be good, because I was not a Jack Daniels fan. So I walk over, I'm looking at this, and the Jack Daniels maple. I'm not an infused guy. So I'm looking at this, and I'm, I'm kind of giggling to myself. And Karen, I turn around, Karen, she's got this bottle, this in the gold bottle case, if you will. And she says, yeah, I'll take that too. And I go, no. And she paid the bill. So I didn't say nothing because I wanted to hurt her feelings. And I was like, God damn it. I am not about infused whiskeys. I am not about any of that product. Plus, at you're all. not a huge Jack Daniels I fan. I am not a huge Jack Daniels fan. I have my favorites of Jack Daniels, which has yeah. kind of turned the corner for the me. Specialty products. Specialty products. Excellent. Right? Yeah. So I was pissed off. I didn't say nothing. She's like, I'm like, well, how much was that? And she tells me, I'm like, oh. So I don't say nothing. We go out there. She says, I'm going to post this. And she posts it and all this stuff. And I, I don't say nothing. I get in the car. We drive, blah, blah, blah. We hit a couple more liquor stores. We come home. Uh, we're sitting on the, I'm sitting on the porch. It's a nice, beautiful day out. I don't know if Albert, um, you came over that day. I don't know if Albert did or not, but Ralph, Ralph was there. Sidecar. So uh, we sit there. She comes out. She goes, uh, I, she's all excited. She goes, I want you guys to try this. I'll be right back. I, I'm going to go get some glasses. And I look at Ralph, and Ralph looks at me, and 
He says, what 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 what, hap- what just happened? What, go, what, ha- happened? what ha- happened? What happened? I go, she bought this Jack Daniels maple. And he goes, oh, shit. I said, I know, but I, 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 I could, it was already a done deal and I didn't say anything, but, you know, let, let's just pretend like we like this. She meant well. That's she right. meant well, right. Yes. So she comes out, she opens the box, and she pours us a drink out of our, out of our snifter glasses. And uh, we smell it, and we're playing the game. Oh yeah, we smell the maple, whatever, blah blah blah. Because we were not, we we already knew we weren't gonna like it. And then we tried it, and me and Ralph look at each other, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" Helen Keller strikes again. Is this Helen Keller? It was a Helen Keller moment. Listen, you got a little bit of maple on the finish, but it was not what we expected. And I have to be honest with you. Within the next two weeks, we drank the whole fucking bottle. <laughs> it was so freaking good. It, it was good. Yeah. It was supposed, I mean, yeah. it was supposed I mean. to be a limited release, but it's not. It's not. And if, if you ever get a chance to try it, it's a hundred dollar bottle. Buy it. It's fantastic. Jack it's Daniels real, number twenty seven. It's in a gold box. Gold box. Fantastic. So you think you might have it? So later we, we can look. I do have it. Have it. Okay, no I'm doubt. curious I to just see find it what it says break. and if it's a liqueur. But it was fantastic. Yeah. It really was. Because be everything box. I saw was a liqueur infused with Tennessee mm-hmm. whiskey, but this is could be something totally different. So yeah, we'll check that out. Um, okay. Time for news. Okay. Yeah, we got you news. have some news, right? You you want to go first and let me get my shit together? Okay. Lafroig uh, just came out on the 26th of October with a new release, Lafroig 30 Year Old, the Ian Hunter story. It's a very hard to find whiskey, I'll admit that. Um, Did you say Ian Hunter? Ian Hunter. As yes. in the Ian Hunter, Ian Hunter. Rock, guy, rock guy? It's the Ian Hunter story series. I oh, don't no sure. know if it's Ian Hunter from Matahupo or not. Um, it doesn't actually say, but it's book two of a five-part series and um, it's it's aged for 30 years in Spanish oak Oloroso sherry cask so um, and it's only about $900 US is that all? So, yeah so I'm sure a lot of our collectors will be oh, we'll get racing out for that <laughs> and um, Kilcoman uh, Don't they make one, soy sauce? No. no the, oh, that's Kikoman. Okay, ki, sorry. Ki, this is an <laughs> Isla whiskey, <laughs> uh, Scotch <laughs> whiskey. Uh, it's coming out with their Christmas Tindrum whiskey. Who? So it's a Christmas Tindrum. release. That's why I'm bringing it up now in case anybody's into their Christmas shopping. Um, it's one of their limited releases they came out with. It's new cast strength from Makir Bay. And it's with a Christmas twist. It's back in stock. Uh, but don't wait long. Uh, it probably will not last. So uh, if you're going to do your online shop- shopping for that, try it soon. I don't have a price on that. It's 46% ABV. Um, and I'm going to guess, from my perspective, a very good whiskey. Hey, speaking of Christmas, it's not seriously, uh, keep. I'm not on Facebook anymore. No, I didn't get kicked off or anything. Else. Uh, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was by choice. But it, you know, speaking of Christmas time coming up, and um, if I want to give it a quick shout out to the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op, I, I don't know Absolutely. what's going on. I haven't been on in a while, so counting on you three to let me know, let Judith and I know what's going on uh, this year. You, you know, mean if there's like we'll, a get together? Yeah, yeah, let us know. Let us oh, know. Absolutely. Make sure you keep, yeah. keep us in the loop, please. And, you know, with COVID and everything else, and you know, uh, and Carl, you know, the wine has. Uh, Put yeah. the screws on everybody. For yeah, the holiday, yeah. You know, but I know you and I started out with Carl and, and I, so on I and so forth. So that, that'd be cool. Keep us in the loop. So yeah. we, we can only do what, what they ask us to do. So. Well, they we're just, still four people shy of our limits here. Too. Amen. So. We're good. Hey. Well, we won't yeah. be the only people at the party. So. Hey, but they just, speaking of the Cleveland Bourbon Co op, they just did an old Forrester release uh, barrel pick that we tried to get in, but it was gone in like. They're like opening day tickets for the Indians. Well, I'll tell you what. A lot of complaints. Um, unfortunately, um, I was, uh, you know, 
I was one of I was the the first barrel pick for the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op for Old Forester Single Barrel. So, um, I, I am and very, even you I'm, were unable. to I was very proud that. of that. Okay, yeah. so uh, Carl was here from the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op, and they, they had the uh, uh, the barrel top. I can't think of the name of it, but the barrel top, and we all we all signed it, signed it and everything else. It was an honor. It really was an right. honor. Okay. The honor is gone, okay? So they came out, Buffalo, I mean, Old Forster came out with the, which we did a show on, Old yeah. Forster single barrels. No longer were store picks and this and that, da-da-da-da-da. And uh, Old Forster was was changing the proof of the single barrel, which was 90 proof in the day. Now it's like 126 or 116. I can't remember the figures. If I'm wrong, don't criticize me. And uh, so I, I wanted to buy bottles, and there was one bottle per person. That's fine. I'm cool with that, okay? Because um, I have a zillion Old Forster single barrel 90 proof store picks. I have a shitload, okay? So at the end of the day, you couldn't. Get, it it was a it was a clusterfuck. If you don't, ex, ex, sorry, kids, it's a clusterfuck of trying to get in to buy a bottle. And at the end of the day, once we got in, they were fucking sold out. Bullshit. That pisses me off. Well, I wasn't going to go negative, but yeah, I, I tried as well as we as we talked, and it was a little bit of a disappointment. But uh, I'm sure that um, they were trying their best. Uh, to, well, I don't know, because there's a do, lot of complaints. But anyway, uh, yeah, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm sure they'll do better next time. So... Um, okay. <laughs> it's been, okay. We're trying to put a good spin on, on moving it. Moving on. Moving on. Let's go. Let's okay. go, kids. Uh, <laughs> we listen. Like, we like listen, those guys. Twenty-three yeah. years in law enforcement. I don't have any fucking uh, hold back, so to say. <laughs> He's Bullshit. got no speed bumps. <laughs> okay. No, I know. Bullshit. I know. So, and I'm not the only one to complain about it. Garbage. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't. Get it your wasn't. shit together. Law and order. Get your shit together. Law and order. If law it ain't order. working, fix it. This ain't the first time that that this shit has happened, and I'm not happy about it. But whatever. If you don't want me to be a member of the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op, okay. I'm I, listen. I'll bow out. I'm cool with it. But at the end of the day, it should be available for everybody. I understand we have. What do they have? Fifteen hundred people in the Cleveland well, Bourbon Co-op. You know, and, and well, I, we don't want to dive into too much. But it, but the link was on somebody's personal post. It wasn't. It should have just been more prominent, so it was. You didn't have to know where to go look for it. It just should have been a little more up and up. So, but they'll, they'll. I'm they sure they'll. See, this is listen, I'm, I'm yeah. not. Listen, I know it sounds like it, kids. I'm not bitter. Yeah, I mean. No. But at the end of the day, let's make it available for everybody. Yeah, they'll if get it. If you can't make it they'll available it. for anybody, then don't do it. Right. Period. Now, having said that, this is the other side of the coin. I feel great having <laughs> deleted my. Your, Facebook you know, account? Uh, it, it's wonderful. Like it's, 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 it's so free. It's like taking yes. your bra yeah, Just take it. a while. Just take some time. To, <laughs> and and hopefully you guys keep me in the loop. You know, but in, uh, otherwise I feel great, man. You know, I tell you what, I invited me back on the show. I so left Facebook for five or for a week, and it was the best week of my life. Well, you know, we are uh, talking about. Um, My sister you know, loves well, we're getting into our, we're getting <laughs> off into all of our business, but we, I, we have talked about a website, so I, that I, might be an alternative. I will, future, I so. will get a Old Forster single barrel. It might not be the Cumber. What? I, why I wanted the bottle? I want. I actually wanted a couple bottles. It's one, and I respect that. I respect that. Okay. I, I was going to give you mine, by the way. I wanted to compare the successful. Cleveland Bourbon <laughs> Co-op at its new proof compared to the Old Forster single barrel that I have. The, the one that I picked. Okay? I was the first, we were the first guys out. Me, That's Joe Clark, we were the first guys out. Hank and Carl. We were we spent hours there picking out Old Forster single barrel. Okay? They I'm the guy that held out. That's you know, in my personal opinion. And that's where we what we got. And they still say to this day it was the best pick ever. Okay? I'm not disgruntled that that we didn't uh, did have that opportunity again but at the same time I'm was eagerly willing to buy a bottle 
and so were some of my friends, like yourself and Ralph and everybody else, and we couldn't even get it. Well, I couldn't find it on the on their page, and when I finally did, the, the link didn't work. But All right. but anyway, we're you know I'm sure they'll get those things. Too. All right, let's move along. Hey, uh, but you know what? That's why you come to the whiskey roundtable because right. we're real and we're honest and we're going to tell you the truth. Amen. So yeah. it is. You know, I like it. They're, Talk to your mom. they're one of our sponsors, and I'm sure they're. Hey Donna, they don't like the they'll, get they'll, get they'll get it. They'll get it. Woodford, Rever Woodford Reserve unveils 2020 holiday bottle with cozy Christmas scene. Oh, is that oh. cool? Okay, so, so that's another Christmas offering. So well, it, it's it's just, it's the same Woodford Reserve, if you will. Yeah. It just has a uh, different scene on it. Okay. So uh, they're they're uh, going to unveil that. Um, they, they had somebody come in and do the bottles, uh, the the art on it specifically. Uh, nothing has changed with the bottle, and uh, you're, you're looking at fifty dollars for a one liter bottle. So that's that's what they're offering up. Uh, should be out here in the next week or two. Nice, nice. nice. Same so same Woodford though. No same difference. Wood just so it's no just difference. Woodford, taste, regular just Woodford, but a new Christmas label. Well, nice. You know that's kind of a marketing <laughs> marketing thing, but nice. But okay. Nice. So but, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You got another one? chicken cock. Ooh, All now. right, Jennifer. Oh, like now you're shit. talking now my Jennifer's language. Now Jennifer's got her attention going. They're on the yeah. fighting cock. Has released oh, the oldest so bourbon yet. Yeah. Green and Barrel Spurs has announced the uh, release of Chicken Cock Master Distiller's Pick. A barrel strength, 15-year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey has hitting the shelves this month. Ooh, ooh. Ohio will never see it. Of course not. Okay. Just 10 bottles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just ten barrels. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say whoa! <laughs> I got everybody's attention now. That's a limited I? release okay. right there. Just ten barrels with a mash bill of seventy-eight point five corn, thirteen percent rye, eight point four, eight point five percent malted barley were blended with the master distillers, Greg Snyder, for the release of yielding one thousand three hundred fifty bottles at one hundred fourteen proof. Ooh. Mm. Uh, bottled without. Bottled without chilled, it's going to be non chilled. Um, non chilled filter? Non chilled filter. Yeah. Yes, Jennifer, look for that one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the powerhouse 15 year old Kentucky straight bourbon, which was bottled at barrel proof, displays an amazing array of complex flavors, says Snyder, uh, and it is well worth the wait. So that bottle. That bottle, uh, let me see if I have it. $300, kids. $300 I, a bottle. I, I don't it's know nothing. about you ladies, but after the show, I'm going to open some cock. How about oh, you? Oh, <laughs> Yeah. All righty. Woo, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> well, Blue Note Bourbon. Um, On that note, yes. Has uh, They did win five gold medals at the 2020 Micro Liquor Spirit Award. Blue Note. So Blue Note's out of Memphis, Tennessee. They're Blue Note regular River Set Rye and the Blue Note uh, special 10 year uh, all one metal. So uh, so there's a there's a distiller that folks might want to check out. Again, that's the they have the their regular Blue Note, their River Set Rye and their 10 year old um, all one awards at the micro distillers. So, All right, kids. Nice. I've never heard of them before. Right. Uh, maybe we'll have to find some and, and Just check it out. Give, give it a give it a go on our show. Amen. What else we got, kids? I think that kind of brings us to the end. We're thank you know, God. Good, good bit over our <laughs> way over our <laughs> fifteen minutes. That's for us. That's not bad. What's that's, what's what's the word of the night? I don't know. Well, I want to Albert. We have any um, yes. any music. Any performances coming up or anything no, like that? No, 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 no. Nothing Things are a little up. crazy with the new administration digging out and stuff and so on and so forth. But uh, you can find me Wednesday nights between 6.30 and 8 at the Academy Tavern on Larchmere Avenue. Um, outside of that, I teach at... When is that? When is that? When is that? Yes. Slow Academy down. Academy Tavern. Every Still Wednesday. Up. Talking to that camera right there. Every Wednesday between 6.30 and 8 at the Academy Tavern. Off of in Cleveland Heights, Large Mirror Avenue, Academy, okay. Academy, Academy Tavern. Tavern. Make a fantastic cheeseburger. Come on out, listen okay. to some great acoustic music. George Foley is a local Cleveland legend playing some stride piano. What time's that, sir? 
Six from between six thirty, six thirty, that's this Wednesday. eight thirty every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Are you going to be there? Are you playing I'll music? Be there. Or are you cooking? I music? Hang out. Just hanging out. I I do both. I do both. And right. George, it's George Foley's gig, but I have a lot of people ask me when I hey when are you playing when are you playing. I'm usually there with George Foley, and George is more than happy to let me sit in. I play a variety of tunes. We'll see you Wednesday. Time. I'll see you there. Yeah, right. I'll we'll, be there. All right, man. I'm gonna call in sick on Thursday. Yeah, we'll oh, check sorry. that out. Oh, shh. Great part. You know, out. seriously, my, my dad's parents, okay, so my grandparents, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. got ma- they, they got engaged there. Really? Oh, no that bar has been around since the 30s, man. Oh, wow. A lot That's of history. Cool. A lot of history at the Academy Beautiful. Tavern Beautiful. on Large Mirror Avenue. Well, right. that, Very um, nice. That um, speakeasy that I saw you at. Quintown? Yeah, which yeah, is right on the really corner. Fun. It's right on yeah, the corner. Yeah, that was really a great place, too. Right? And I still play there from time to time, but like I said, the gigs have just been, it's not as consistent with right. everything that's going on. I got my mask here. I got my G-string yeah. mask. You know you know what it means when you oh, wear Judith, you're so lucky. Is that your mother? Oh, so lucky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is my diaper. But, uh, Two diapers. Depends you on how much I drink. I poop awesome, my pants. Dude. I poop my pants. Okay. Well, um, hey, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page. Please do that if you've not already. Follow us on Facebook. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, anything you'd like us to uh, do on the show, something the Whiskey Wizard could cover, um, <laughs> any, anything you can think of. We're, we want to make the show better, so we're, we're open to all your suggestions. Suggestions. It is late. And, it is uh, late. I can't wait to have some more of that Russell's Reserve, so I'll be doing that shortly. And we're cracking um, out the Jack Daniels maple, too. Oh, well, she I'll, we'll, to it. <laughs> we'll certainly have a look at it. Um, closing quote today just uh, simply comes from uh, the uh, celebrated poet laureate of Scotland, Robbie Burns. Robbie Burns. There and, you go. Uh, he says simply, and I think that's a timely quote, freedom and whiskey gang the giver, meaning... They go together. So that's here, it for here. today. Folks. All right, kids. We are uh, your host, Big G. Karen Allen Keller. Douglas Dunbar, and our special guest tonight, Albert Santilli. We'll catch All you right. guys next week. Thanks See for listening. You, folks. I appreciate you. Be safe. Be safe. Have See you next weekend. time. Bye bye. If whiskey stopped working, every bar in town would be closing their doors, shutting down. Everybody would be trapped with their thoughts cause nothing else would pay like bourbon or scotch oh no oh no no if whiskey whiskey stopped working where the hell would I be probably wasting lots of money trying therapy if whiskey Whiskey stopped working, what the hell would I do? Honestly, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be over you. Whiskey stopped working, whiskey stopped working. Oh. Whiskey stopped working, whiskey stopped working. Oh. Whiskey stopped working, whiskey stopped working. Oh. Poor Jack D would be out of a job. Jameson and B would be cut. Tennessee